Hey guys, so if you don't know this, that Roblox Battle is the biggest, one of the biggest events just released a few days ago, meaning that we can guess voting. Now, for our competitors for Season 3, you can get two items for actually voting correctly, 50%. If you vote 50% of the bracket correctly, you get this one item. If you vote the winner correctly, you get this other item. So I will be showing you how to vote correctly and who to vote for remember this is literally just my opinion but i actually did some work onto this so let's get back let's get back into this voting so when you spawn when you join the game you're gonna walk you're gonna want to walk up to this terminal this voting terminal and then once you load into this terminal when it finishes booting up you want to click you want to click vote now this is going to take you to the bracket now I'm gonna I'm literally just gonna take down this this bracket step by step and show you guys who to vote for. Remember, this is totally my opinion, but I actually did some work out into onto this. So if you don't if you don't want to like put this as your bracket, that's totally fine. You can do something on your own. But I but me personally I did some work onto this. So for our first for our first players, we got Think Noodles versus Creecraft and Piggy. Now, Think Noodles isn't really the type of person to stay focused on this one game. Meanwhile, Creecraft spent at least like two to three years just grinding this game until the end, which means that Creecraft is actually way better than Think Noodles and Piggy. Because Think Noodles, I feel like he's like a YouTuber that specializes in mostly like simulator type of games. Then we got a uh, PGHL Lego versus Starcode Ominous. Now, if you I've seen Ominous's recent videos, he's actually really good at Funky Friday. He lost to the best Funky Friday player by 1000 points, which I think is really impressive. And he's more of a sweaty player than PGHL Lego. But but yeah, PGHL did play Funky Friday. But I'm just saying, Star Code Ominous, it, Ominous is just better than PGHO in general in Funky Friday. So we got, we got this part of the bracket, which is Sonic Speed Simulator. Now, for this, I put Creek Crab due to the fact that Creek actually grinded this game, this game, and Ominous, for all I know, he hasn't like touched this game. He's like a Brookhaven YouTuber now. He doesn't post like normal content just Brookhaven depicting that uh, I think Creecraft will be ominous in um, Speed Simulator so we got not Leo versus I am Santa now first you can depict who will win this technically Leah because she's actually played shop both of these people have played shopping wars but I am Santa is not like the skillful type of Roblox player this game determines like skill speedness and stuff and leah is pretty good at like skillful type roblox of games i think leah can definitely beat santa in this type of game so we got cinderbell versus megan plays and welcome to bloxburg now me personally i chose cinderbell due to the fact that she's pretty younger than megan plays and megan like it's pretty she's pretty old and she uh, Cinderbell is a Brookhaven YouTuber. I know it's not really like Bloxburg in general, but that's like close to Bloxburg. So I'm just saying that like Cinderbell could maybe beat Megan. She's also been playing Roblox before Megan. And I don't think like it's going to be a building competition. But either way, I think Cinderbell could do really good in a skillful wise in this work of Bloxburg. Then Megan plays herself. So we got this part, this part of the bracket, which is Adopt Me. Now, Leah, I'm pretty sure she is an Adopt Me YouTuber. Like, Cinderbell is just not an Adopt Me YouTuber. It's a Brookhaven YouTuber. Now, you can definitely tell that Leah can definitely beat Cinderbell and Adopt Me. Because if the, if the challenge has to do something like grinding it in the most coins to get the better pets, then Leah can definitely destroy Cinderbell and adopt me. So now we got this part: Babrizi versus Dennis Daly and Super Golf. Now, this is probably pretty simple. Dennis is usually a pretty skillful type of person, 
and click well Babrizi is a Bloxburg youtuber there's nothing else to say he only posts Bloxburg I've never seen him post anything else I mean not Bloxburg Brookhaven sorry and but then is he just focuses on like multiple type of content like different types of videos but that's why I think Dennis is actually gonna win this one so we got mm, Flamingo versus Jangy and uh, Wacky Wizards. Now the only reason I think Flamingo can beat Jangy in this game is due to the fact that he's actually really popular and he specializes in a bunch of Roblox games. Now I seen that Jangy has, I don't, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but he specializes in um, um, Wacky Wizards. But I really do think Flamingo stands a chance due to the fact that he's literally been playing Roblox for his whole entire life. So, yeah, I think he has a chance. We got Dennis Daly versus Flamingo and build a boat for treasure. Now, I do not recall. I probably Dennis has played this game at least once. I know Flamingo has played his games multiple times, meaning that I think Flamingo has a better chance than Dennis at this game. And plus, I'm, Flamingo has a big mindset of creativity. So if this game does include like building then yeah flamingo is like gonna win this one because like you know that you never know what the challenge could be so we got renly versus jackeries in tower of hell now this one is pretty simple terrible matchup for jackeries due to the fact that renly is literally just a sweat at tower of hell this dude manages to like take out everybody in their his lobbies he always gets first he he beat the owner so I'm pretty sure this man can beat Jackeries in uh, Tower of Hell. We got Tanker versus Band Knights. Now, the only reason I put Tanker for this is because he's a really good FPS player. And in the past, Tanker did actually 1v1 Band Knights in Arsenal and destroyed him. So yeah, that's a pretty turn of events here. So we got Tanker versus Renleaf in Jailbreak. Now... Tanker did say that he doesn't specialize in jailbreak, but he did post a lot of Mad City content videos, which relates to jailbreak in a way since the games are actually both similar. And if you didn't know, last the uh, RB Battle Season 2, he actually beat Ryguy in jailbreak, which means that he was really, like, good. I mean, it was RNG luck, but you never know that he can beat Renly because Renly does not... I've never seen him specialize in FPS or this these types of games whatsoever, which is why I think Tanker is going to the finals. So we got, before we get into the actual finals, we got our battle back, which is Ominous, Cinderbell, Dennis Daly, and Renleaf. Now, I honestly think, since this game actually has to do with climbing and getting, like, getting to the top, I think Renleaf will win this one. Now, hear me out. Bell is a um, Brookhaven YouTuber. Ominous is a Funky Friday dash Brookhaven player, and Dennis is really just specializes in multiple games, like one game per video. Now, the only reason I think Renleaf is gonna win this one is because this game includes like different ways, like different climbings, different routes, and I think Renleaf can easily manipulate that to his advantage to win. Now. That's how Renleaf beats everybody else in Mount Everest climbing roleplay. Now to our finals. We got Real Creek, Mr. Flim Flam, not Leah, Tanker, and Renleaf. The competition skill in this is too low for Tanker. Tanker can easily beat Leah and Flamingo. And Creekcraft and Renleaf just doesn't add up to the skill that Tanker has because he's a really good player. That's how he won last year. And he's going to protect his title this year. That's that's all. So these are actually just what I chose when I put for the voting. I don't really have anything else to say because this is literally all I did. But if you do, if I do get this right, then that means I'll be getting both of the items, the Crystal Orb and the RBB Chain. So you don't have to copy what I put, but I kind of do recommend doing your own research to make sure that if if I am wrong and you are right, to put it as your own. But that, but yeah, that's my RB battles voting bracket. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.